In this video, we're going to look at how we multiply imaginary numbers together. Now, remember, we still need to keep in mind our i is the square of negative 1, i squared is negative 1, i cubed is negative i, and i to the fourth is 1. So that cycle of 4 with imaginary numbers, that pattern, we still need to use and apply here. When multiplying imaginary numbers, we can see here we have 4 plus 2i, that quantity times quantity 3 minus 5i. Now, many people would say use FOIL. I do not like FOIL. It is an acronym to help remember the distributive property. What I want you to realize is all FOIL means is just distribute. You do the distributive property. Every term in the first parentheses has to be distributed to each term in the second parentheses. So you would do 4 times 3, which is 12 you would do 4 times negative 5i, which is negative 20i. I mean, that is the distributed property, this term to each term inside. It's just now you have to do it to the second term as well. 2 times 3, you have a positive 6i. 2i times negative 5i is negative 10i squared. That's why it's just the distributed property. Every term in the first parentheses has to be distributed to each term in the second parentheses. That's it. And then you just combine like terms. You know, 12, we can just leave alone. Negative 20i plus 6i is negative 14i. And here we need to remember that i squared is negative 1. So really it's negative 10i squared. So negative 10 times negative 1 is a positive 10. And then combine like terms, 12 and positive 10 are real, so you get 22 minus 14i. And just like we did before, remember you write your answer in your complex form of a plus or minus bi, where a is your real number, and b is your bi is the imaginary number. So distribute. Combine like terms as we did, the negative 20i and 6i, but you need to remember you can't have an exponent with the i, so i squared is negative 1, and negative negative is a positive, and then combine with the real number of 12. Let's try it with number 2. Same idea. Not FOIL, but distribute. Take the first number, distribute it to both numbers and the other parentheses. And that gives you 16 minus 24i. Take the second term. Distribute it to all the terms in the other parentheses. And that gives you a positive 10i minus 15i squared. Combine like terms. You get 16. Negative 24i plus 10i is negative 14i. And then, you know, negative 15i squared. Well, i squared is negative 1, so negative 15 and negative 1 is a positive 15. Continue to combine like terms. 16 and 15 is 31 minus 14i. And that's it. I mean, that's how you're going to multiply with imaginary numbers. You distribute, combine like terms. Make sure you simplify i to any power as we have and get your answer.